So, tell me your vision. Mm. Um, I just saw, like, land that was kind of, like, covered with, like, some small foothills and just kind of rugged land with, like, trees and mm -hmm. bushes and grass everywhere. And yeah. Then all of a sudden, like, the earth started shaking mm -hmm. and all around just, like, huge cracks. Mm. And the earth started going out everywhere and then... I see my vision wides out and I see like the tip of a mountain almost coming out of the ground. Mm -hmm. Then it comes to be a like a very large mountain that mm. protrudes from the ground and just like... Shoot up, basically. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. a massive, massive mountain. mountain that kind yeah. of go, comes up and just then stops. Like, Where to stop? Yeah. Like stop like, in heaven, basically. Yeah, protruding through the heavens. Yeah, what the top look like? Sharp or planned or something? Yeah, it's sharp. It's just sharp, okay. Mm, like a sword, huh? Almost, mm, yeah. Like, like a pillar, right? So, yeah. Mm. Well, I saw that before. You know what that means? That means the Asian way to train young people is coming. That's how amazing it is, how powerful it is. It's not just small topics, okay? So I have seen the same vision multiple times. It's the mountain the Lord raised up. In the, the Bible in Je Jeremiah 32, I think, it said about it. Certain things will be changed that everyone will know God. You know how God teaches us? He teaches us not with miracle religious experiences. Okay, He teaches us in our wisdom. The wisdom from above is what? Is those attributes. And be a recipient, the students, and wisdom. No, you close your eyes. Do you see vision already? Yeah. Um, I saw a strange image of, I just saw this really bright, like very ripe, bright red apple that was held in one hand. And basically I saw that the other hand held like a knife. And it was, it was very interesting because it was carving the apple. The skins off? Yeah, not just the skin, like actually the actual edible part of the apple off. For the end result looked like it had as if it had been eaten but everything else was wasn't even eaten it was like wasted on this uh -huh. so it was carved and then when it was finished it looked like the apple core as if it had been eaten and bitten off mm. but the apple chunks had basically fallen to the floor and had they hadn't been eaten it was just the core that was left over so, so if someone had come they would see that they would assume that this had been eaten, but it had actually been carved by a knife. Mm, mm. Um, it wasn't actually consumed. Okay. That's what I saw. What do you think about it? I don't know. It, um, it kind of gives uh, and like an understanding of uh, um, like almost trickery in a sense because it left... Um, it's like somewhat deceiving almost mm. um, that uh, and uh, and also wasteful at the same time um, as to the like the purpose of why this would be done and what it resembles that's interesting I think it's to do with the partaking the fruits am I right mm. so yeah the man's wisdom man's we partaking is our appearance receiving something yeah actually to waste everything. Right. So the revelation here is we don't want to partake of fruits in what? In such a pretentious it's, yeah, it's way. Pretty, it's the yeah. same fruit, but it's how it's partaken and how exactly, it's consumed. It's exactly, very important. exactly. It's very important to, to really take the bite, am I right? Mm -hmm. It has to do with the attitudes or way of approaching things. Now, this kind of thing is to everyone in the world, to unwise man who said, well, you can, what, what's it? God will do it. Or well, everybody can do it. It's not important to emphasize it. The only one like James, like a Jesus, like a, once really knows that we how men receive heavenly things, right? Receive spiritual things. Will pay attention to these things. In love, when you pray, okay, when you stand up and hold up your hand to heaven to pray. And that's what the stake. It's you're going to use a knife, just chop it off to partake of the food or really want to uh, to partake of it. That's different way of approaching things. That is a mark before you. 
Does it go through the motion? Or really partaking it? Okay, so uh, as you pray, pray the Spirit of God will close your eyes to pray. And no one can have another vision for you. So he can do how a mighty witch actually. And to affirm the thing that it is, is God doing is means something. Okay, so you too are not as casual young people in this generation. You know, what well, is your present? So go ahead. Father, Lord, I. Thank you for these revelations for my life, Lord. Lord, I pray that these things would change my life, Lord. Lord, these visions, Lord. Lord, I do not want to go back to this place where I think something has changed, Lord, and then I just go back, Lord. I, Lord, I pray that this, that I would be changed truly, Lord. Mm. Lord, that I would not be the same person, Lord, even today as I came in here, Lord, mm. that I would come in, come out a new man, Lord. Mm. Lord, I pray that people would see that, Lord. Yes. Lord, I pray that I could be an example to others, Lord. Mm. Lord, I thank you for your love, mm. but Lord, also for your righteous judgment in my life mm. and in my siblings and mm. my people's life, Lord. Mm. Lord, I pray that you would do this, Lord. I pray that even now that you would give Noah a vision, Lord. There's a lot of brilliance. You, I don't use that word very easily, Elijah, in your life. It's brilliant qualities in your life. It's willing to be discovered, willing to shine. Do you understand that's my point? You know, so when this, this rough edge is falling off this, this distracted weights, you know, like something wrapped up inside, am I? You're gonna be beautifully shy and beautifully excel in many ways. And why my job is to, to, to make that work, you know? I mean, it's like, a, like somebody hatching something and finally you're ready to break it out, okay? So, I mean, you will come out and you will shine. My understanding and my desire, passion is we can have a brilliant, wonderful topics rather than merely talking about how to process things, really processing things. But it has come from the prepared point to know how to process things, am right? The ready to process things. Then you can enjoy the meal in a sense. Making sense to you? Also, we can never start. We just talk about the attitudes, talk about the, well, what not to do, what the right to do, but eventually you never done that. You're not thinking about what needs to be done. My understanding is when you open up your life in a wonderful way, one or two years later, we're able to talk about wonderful topics, learn God, learn wisdom, your life will be in a totally different place. And you have a new interest, new vision, new relationship, or let's see that, renewed relationship in every aspect of your life. Would you like that? I think you will be like that very much, very much. You know, so you'll be a, be a leader. Be one people can come from. Making sense to you? You'll be a, a, a beautiful part of whatever team, whatever efforts, you being a part of it. Making sense to you? I can rely on Elijah. I say, Elijah, can you do this for me? I don't have to thinking, oh, I'm not sure Elijah is capable. Oh, I'm not sure Elijah is is aware of it, and I'm sure Elijah can give me a good report of what it did, all right? So I want you to sample. I don't need to worry about whether you're able to listen or able to communicate, able to carry out the responsibility you want to do. And you are getting there, okay? The how you get there? Through solid engagement in relationships in time like this. And King Sun said, I'd like to have fun with you. I'd like to share a story, a talking simple topic with you. But I can't. You know, I know the potential of life. I need to open that well up, you know, to let you spring up forth. Be a wonderful river. So, no matter you see anything for us, please see it. So. Mm -hmm. um. 
what I saw was uh, I saw I think it was Elijah's arm or in hand, and I saw that it was like a band of gold, mm. like a wristband of gold. Mm. Um, it was on his uh, his right hand, mm. and uh, I saw that another. I think it, it it may have been the Lord came with his hand and grabbed hold of this band, mm-hmm. and basically, uh, from there moved his hand up his arm like this, and the band mm-hmm. extended and followed and got oh. larger along his arm, oh, wow. and, he, and he took his hand and uh, uh, did this same action around his whole body mm. until he was wearing almost like this golden armor oh, wow. uh, that had come from this initial wristband mm. to his entire body even as a helmet mm. but then i noticed very strange elijah his face actually was like a like that of like a almost like a pit bull almost so there's something pit bull? like a like a dog like something was uh, very wrong about it at first oh, okay and so he had like his face was formed like that of uh, just mm. like one of those short nosed kind of gnarly mm. dogs. Mm. But then I noticed he ran, he began to run in this mm. armor mm. Um, forwards. And as he ran, he transformed mm. from the face of this dog to mm. a, of like a being, like a, a more human face, but at the same time, like a being of light. Mm-hmm. And so there was this transformation from the face of this dog to a human face that was almost made of Shooting. the substance of light. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Um, and he continued to have this golden armor on as he ran. Mm-hmm. So the transformation didn't take place when the armor was on. The transformation took place as he ran mm-hmm. um, in this armor. Yeah. And that's what I saw. I think the armor was actually a equipment, you know? Equipment. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think it's to do with teaching. So mm. yeah, making sense to you? Yeah, you know, interesting enough, it reminded me. The um, let me might might not share that at all. So, you know, don't don't think dog is a bad thing. Okay, in this case, can be a loyal thing. I mean, you like dogs, am I? So you know, it can be a good thing. And this has my point. But if there is a a thinking of how to engage battle. You know. And uh, you, you know more than senselessly. I think more right now with with the glory, everything is wisdom, understanding, making sense to you. So, and Elijah, no one going to be very very helpful in your growth. He already is right in your life. And uh, I wanted to to you to today to lay hands and pray for Noah. Appreciate his spiritual input in your life. Okay, you can have beautiful partnership. Beautiful growth, a unity with no one. That doesn't mean you guys don't do things together. I'm talking about the spiritual unity, okay? Spiritual impartation. So lay hands on no one to appreciate him before the Lord. And um, you don't have to see words, but may you see a vision for no one to encourage him. No one has done excellently. Uh, you know, you, you are facing a different kind of teacher. You can see it, right? So... You come from an ancient way. You to break the mold, everyone. I'm sorry to see that. That's the Lord. And it started with you young people. You'll be trained and taught differently. You'll be treated differently. You're not a young man, just any land in this world, in this cross ages. Your generation and you especially are the target of our work in the Lord. And it's it going to be a unique, different generation for you. More than just shed away from the wrong things, the things distracted, but it, more important is to build up with the right thing. And you are ready. Amen? Elijah, don't tell me you're not ready. Am I right? So, yeah. So, what are those things are? As it has to do with subject, knowledge, or skills, or potentials in various kinds of engagement life, but wisdom, wisdom, your mind will be changed. So what I'm doing is to, to open up your mind, your mind of understanding, your mind of wisdom, your spirit of wisdom, and spirit of understanding. You, you guys are excellent young people. You know, in every way, it's, it's wonderful, wonderful. There's no disappointment on our part towards your life, you know. But in order to sharp a diamond, some hard sharpening and my tools had to be applied. You see my point? You know, so in order to purify the gold, the ship the gold, 
some intense process to get involved. And that is what is this about. You have such excellency in your, in your mind, in your gifts, and in your heart. In your, your heart is all pure and willing and good. So I'm not seeing any negative things about that. But I want to see it be transformed, be elevated to a different place, able to endure better disciplines, better education, the mind so more solid. So, Elijah, that's especially true for you, okay? So, and Noah has been excelling this way. It's wonderful to see how you blossom in those things. I want you to continue to, to think um, outside yourself and how to support others to be a more than an example, but to, a, to, to be a teacher, you know, so a shepherd this way. So, Elijah, this, do you speak in tongues? Have you ever been speaking in tongues yet? Not yet? Okay. Um, well, yeah, not, not, not particularly. Really. It's okay. Just close your eyes as a prayer to, to God and think about in your mind what God can bless Noah with. And he will have vision. Ala mala la sanda la hi. Yala la mala la sanda. Ala la maka stiki di do bala la ya. Indi indala la ma. I'll ask God to speak to you, Elijah, about that one. I speak as to this occasion. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit God is willing. The Spirit God is evil. And I will tell you, something will happen to you, Elijah, today, has already happened. You will never be the same. Listen, you will never be the same. Now you see Noah, who he is. You see who I am. Am I so? You know, says my point, you know, so. And he's not just your good buddy, he's a good brother. The, the in God. You know, so you will see more clearly who we are. That's needed for you to appreciate things, understand things, making sense to put in practice those kind of relationships. I'm just okay. I think they are, but I don't know what to do with it. Oh, it's in, you know on the fringe of my life, but I'm not in the center of it. Making sense to you? So, yeah. the spirit of God has came upon me. So, yeah. To pray for him. Lord Spirit God, Lord, use Elijah and I and prophesy over Noah. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Father, we love you, Lord. I thank you for this man, Lord, in your kingdom. Lord, my brother, not only physically, but in the spirit. Lord, I pray that I would not only see him as just my brother, Lord, mm -hmm. but Lord, a brother in your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Lord, that we would fight battles together, mm -hmm. have victories together, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, but also help each other through even defeat, Lord. <laughs> Lord, to stand up for each other, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, to never be against each other, Lord, mm -hmm. but to be for each other. Mm -hmm. Lord, I pray that you would bless my brother's life and everything that he does. Mm -hmm. Lord, and if there's anything that I could even help him with, Lord, that you would reveal these things to me, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you for the example he's been in my life. Mm -hmm. Lord, someone who dis has disciplined himself mm -hmm. for you and mm -hmm. your kingdom mm -hmm. to learn, to be taught. Lord, I pray that I would learn these same principles, Lord, from your kingdom. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, I pray that you would bless him. In Jesus' name, mm -hmm. amen. Close your eyes and let God speak through you. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. <coughs> Ask God to speak through you. <coughs> Hallelujah. Going to, to to see God's heart and I aside for Noah. Lord, just reveal yourself, reveal through you yourself to Noah. 
Every will no one in you, Lord. Speak, Lord. Speak, O Lord Jesus. Mama, son, no, no, mama, yeah. Helen, I want to, Lord, Elijah be used in such a way that it, this is no strange thing for him anymore. Lord. I actually impart to him the prophet gift from heaven, Lord. In Jesus' holy name, in Jesus' holy name, in Jesus' holy name, stir up the holy curiosity that he will ask, seek, and knock. As Moses' external example applied, aspired him to follow, but an inner desire, Lord, spring forth, a holy passion, David, a fire in his bones. To know you, to be used by you, to serve others for you, Lord. In Jesus' name, go ahead and speak. Lord, I pray that I would be used through you, Lord, to teach others, Lord, to even help others with things in their life, Lord. But Lord, I pray that first that I would seek you. Mm. Lord, learn from you and be willing to be taught from you, Lord. Mm. Lord, I thank you for all that you've done in my life. And Lord, especially for what you're going to do mm. and what you are doing even mm. right now, Lord. Mm. Lord, I pray that you would speak to each one in this room. Mm. Lord, I pray that we would never harden our hearts toward you, Lord. Mm. That we would be drawn to you, Lord. That you would draw us closer to you. Mm. Lord, that we would never forget to have you on our mind in everything that we do. Mm. From something not even important to very important, Lord. Mm. That you would be on our minds mm. to guide us through these things. So Lord, I pray this for my siblings' life. Yes. People all around me in my life. And I pray this in your name. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Noah, do you see anything? I think you see something. Tell us what you see. <clears throat> Once again, I saw... Um, something I'd seen a few weeks ago was the... Just almost like the face of wisdom herself. I saw oh. basically a young woman in with just pure white hair. Mm. Um just from like uh neck up almost. And I saw that she was I don't even I didn't even see the source of the water itself, but she was she was like washing her face mm. with this uh this pure um unblemished water. Mm. Um um, yeah, and that's that's all I, I saw the, over the last um, few minutes of Elijah praying. Mm. Um, mm. I, yeah, like I had seen something similar you before, did before, like that. Before, I think yeah. you did. Yeah. Now, I want you to to lay hands on Elijah. We're going to change Elijah' time, uh, life forevermore today. So, in. Uh, Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Well, Elijah, there is a greed desire from your parents why they want you to be here more than to spend good time. I don't want your life in the Lord to be activated, to be expanding, to be established. Am I right? So, yeah. So, may today be the day for you to be activated. Okay? So, yeah. And, uh, May the Lord give you clarity, give you understanding of your 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 own his 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 destiny for you. His path, your path. Am I right? So everybody has a path in life. God ordained. Well, I pray. I think you can have dreams. If you have meaningful spiritual dreams, to share. Okay, so God gonna teach you about that dreams, and I'm gonna use you to speak to others. So I would uh, ask you from this day on, begin to pray for people, okay? Pray for his purpose, for, for more than yourself, but pray for others, okay? So 
one of the great translation in my life from a place of uh, struggle to a place of freedom and joy understanding is I began to pray more than for my own curiosity on the same thing I pray for others like God hey use me speak to me maybe I can help to, to help others making sense too so and that's a great liberation in my life I think it, you will have the same benefit in your life when you pray for others he will speak to you he will reveal his purpose and his inside go ahead no one only lay hands on him in the forehead and the blessing. Lord, I do bless the son of yours, Father. Lord, I ask that he would be raised, Lord, in righteousness, Lord, in purity of heart and of desire, Father. Lord, truly, may today be a day of, Lord, initiation in his spirit. Mm-hmm. Lord, for the destiny that you have placed him upon. Mm-hmm. Lord, this path um, that is to be led, Lord, by your spirit. Mm-hmm. Lord, from the small things in life to the great, Lord, decisions. Mm-hmm. Lord, in the great events. Lord, whether they be in the physical realm or in the spirit, Lord, Mm. I ask that you would give Elijah this discernment. Mm. Lord, that you truly would open his eyes, Lord, Mm. to these things, Lord, and to their um, extreme, Lord, and very important involvement in his life. Mm. Lord, and the great, Lord, things that you have in store for him. Mm. Lord, not simply just for his own life, Lord, but for the many lives that he will affect, Lord, that he will impact. Mm. Lord, that you will teach, Lord, and make known through him. Mm. So, Lord, may you bless his life in this way. Lord, truly, may you speak to him, Lord, in ways of power and of enlightenment and encouragement, Father. Mm. Pray this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.